Hey YouTube, so I wanted to come today to show y'all my um, war binder. Um, so I was really inspired by, there's a website called warbinder.com and um, an Instagram account. Um, it all kind of centers around the movie War Room and the book Fervent by Priscilla Shire. I have not actually read that book. I have seen the movie War Room, which is phenomenal. Um, but I plan on reading that book after I finish reading this book that I'm currently on right now, Wild and Free. Um, so far, it is pretty good. So um, I'll let y'all know what I think about it once I'm finished. So like I said, it centers around the book Fervent by Priscilla Shire. Um, I watched a bunch of other YouTube videos to kind of see how other people had their set up and it was really helpful to me. So I wanted to show y'all how I have mine set up in hopes that maybe I could help somebody else. Um, so also sorry that this is on my iPhone. I My camera is not wanting to cooperate with me today. So this is what I have. Um, so I am using a Filofax Domino in the aqua color in the A5 size. A lot of people just use those mini three ring binders and you can get those at the do at uh, the Target dollar spot for I think $3 and those work perfectly well. This is what I already had. I wasn't using this for anything else so I thought well might as well. I have it. It's here. I didn't have to purchase anything. Um, so when I open it up I have a picture of my adorably cute daughter there. Um, I have this little pencil pencil pouch that um, I bought I think on Amazon with my little pens in it. This works perfectly to hold my pens. I have my dashboard um, with this little quote. I'm reading through Matthew right now and I saw this and I thought well this is just the perfect um, scripture for a prayer journal. So I just quickly wrote it out on a post-it note and stuck it in there. So this is my dashboard. I have a, a little binder clip with my pencil on there that just fell off so can't put that back on one-handed. Um, I had already had this so um, with this little project life on no, project life card on there. Then I have a little fly leaf with some sticky notes. Um, I use these sticky notes throughout. I will show you. Um, but sticky notes are really important for your prayer binder. So you can just say you're thinking about something. You can just scribble it down, stick it on the front, and then stick it in the uh, you know on the coordinating section later on once you get to that section or whatever. So. I have that for my dividers. So these are the Filofax dividers that came with this planner. I wanted to make my own and I really like these file folders that I had, but I only had enough. This is silly, but I only had enough to make three. And so I thought, well, you know, that's good. It, it's, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. So I have three pretty dividers and three plain Filofax dividers, but I went ahead and put the plain Filofax divider behind the pretty divider as well because I'm silly and yeah, that's all I got. But it doesn't bother me. I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. So my first section is, um, I have a picture of my husband and my daughter on me. My first section, I got this from straight from the prayer journal. I mean, I'm um, sorry, from the war binder, um, section so they had they came up with these five sections praise I think I actually put them in kind of a different order than what she had originally said so these are my orders praise rest confession scripture and petition and then I have a um a gratitude section as well in the back so let me go through each section. So praise, this is just me set, telling God, you know, I sit down, when I sit down to do my prayer render, this is the first place I turn to. This is my praise. This is just kind of me thanking God for him being in my life, for him working all things through me and um, just telling him thank you, basically. Um, I have a scripture here from Mark 14. It basically is not what I will, but what you will. So that's just something that I have to remind myself of every single day because I can quickly um, find myself saying, well, why not? Why not? Why not? And so I just have to remind myself that it's not what I will, but what he wills. This next section is rest. So this is just where I stop and take a moment um, and just breathe and rest. Sometimes I'll read through the today's section of this Jesus Calling book. I got... I, now... This is really silly. I don't know why I had never picked this book up, 
but um, I actually was in a Christian bookstore recently and they had this book for five dollars and I thought oh man this is so pretty so I bought one for me and then I bought one for a girlfriend that I sent to her and I just like kind of started thumbing through it I didn't really I wasn't I was like okay well I'll just let it sit on my desk it I'm, I wasn't really that into it but then I started actually reading it and I was it was like every day whatever she writes it's like she's writing it for me that sounds so silly but I mean, everything, every day is something pertinent. It was either what I thought about the day before, kind of what I've been struggling with recently or whatever. And so I'm loving this thing. It's like, like my lifeline, like I, what I love it. So I read through that rest. Um, like I said, you just rest. The next section is confession. So this is where I talk through my sins over the last 24 hours, not over my life. God knows what I've done wrong. Um, so this is just me kind of confessing and taking time to realize what I did wrong. Um, and these are just some little prompts that I found from another um, girl that wrote in hers. Um, I don't write out my confessions or my sins because there is not enough time. Um, and this is just a little quote from the Jesus Calling book. So the next section is scripture. Um, I think different people follow different scripture plans, scripture reading plans, different ideas for scripture. This is just what I do. So I have this little bookmark up here to kind of take me to my section. It's the fourth divider. Um, I am doing this Bible a day, Bible reading plan, five by five by five. I've been doing this since the beginning of the year and you read through the New Testament by the end of the year. So I'm currently in Matthew. I read, I like to take notes. I like to write a lot of scriptures down. Um, I think some people use that SOAP method, which I actually have here, scripture, observation, application, and prayer. Um, maybe once I'm not doing, when I'm not trying to read through the whole New Testament and I'm doing just a book for 30 days or whatever, um, then I'll, I'll follow that method. But this really works for me. So, And I write down notes. I don't just write down scripture. I wrote down notes and kind of, how does that pertain to me kind of a thing? What are my thoughts? So that's that. And then once I finish that section, I go back to, so my scripture, then my petition. So every um, day of the week, Monday through Friday, and then I lump the weekends together. I pray for these different areas of my life. So Monday I pray for, to, for, to be a better Christ follower. Tuesday, I pray to be a better wife and for my marriage. Wednesday, I pray to be a better mother. Thursday, I pray to be a better steward. Friday, I pray to, pray to be a better worker. Um, and on the weekend, I pray to be a better sister, sister-in-law, and friend. So this is just where I ask God for help in these areas of my life. So I'm obviously going to just kind of speed through because you don't need to see my innermost thoughts and prayers to God. So I have each section, I have them all tabbed here so I can just easily flip to whatever section I need. Um, I just recently started this so my prayers are not very long and they're not very, um, there's, there's just not a lot there but I have plenty of room on the back. I can add sticky notes, whatever I think of. If I think of something like, oh man, I really failed God as a wife today I can write a write it on a sticky note and slap it on there and then next time I come to that section when I when I'm praying to be a better wife again I can just remember that and I can write it down um, more permanently if I want so after I pray for myself I pray for my family um, I pray for this is just a picture of my husband and my daughter which is so cute that I just stuck on a little tab and hole punched it so for my husband I pray, pray for the exact same things that I pray for for myself um, every day I look at this calendar from Inspire to Action, which I'll leave a link down below, but it has the days of the month and I just say, okay, today's the 24th, I think. I pray that prayer and then I do whatever the day is. So it's the exact same, same tabs and everything, and I just go through and pray for him. <clears throat> then I have my daughter. She is little so she's not um a worker or a wife or a mother yet so i pray for her future husband and marriage her integrity and purity her health her future as a student and her career and as a daughter so same exact things um same exact calendar praying daily for your children and i do the exact same thing as i do for my husband 
So, skipping through that, I have some blank, whoops, sorry. I have some blank paper here in the back, so if I need more, I can um, put that in there. Uh, then the next, the next tab is praying, is my weekly prayers for other people. So these are some friends. They probably don't want you to see my prayers for them. Um, but if my friends have anything like any health issues, anything like that, that they need praying for, even if they don't overtly tell me, I just jot it down and I'll write it on here. And I look at this page first. So I know, okay, I need to be thinking about these people for this particular thing. And then I also have sections. I have a family, my Christian friends, my non-Christian friends. I pray for my church. I pray for our nation, and I pray for the world. So just the same exact thing, depending on the day. I flip to this. If there's anything going on in the world, um, the world needs needs lots of prayers. But if there's anything going on, I can just put it on a sticky note, slap it in here, and then next time I come to the world section, I can remember to pray for that. So this just goes back to my um, Bible study section. And then my next section is my gratitude section. So um, this is just a little card slot from Philofax. Nothing really, my pictures, I wanted to put pictures in here, but they don't really fit. So um, yeah, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to use that for. This is just a little thing that I, from a, a gift I bought for my best friend. And then in here, I just have the um, inserts, the Filofax inserts. It's like a week on one page vertical. And these actually have worked out fabulous for my gratitude journal. So all I do, I put a little bit of washi. I write, what am I thankful for? And then each day, um, I usually do this in the morning. So I go, I do the previous day. I write down just a couple of little things that happened, a couple of things I'm thankful for. Um, anything that I may need prayers for, anything that anybody may need prayers for, I'll just put that in here. And it's worked out really well so far. So this is where we're at right now. This was, you know, yesterday. This is today. So tomorrow I'll fill that section out. And then I just have my little page marker here. I went ahead and put a little bit of washi on a couple of the pages. Not all of them, but, you know, I just went ahead and did that. So I'm, I don't get... It, I, I don't get distracted and I don't get too bored. I don't think, oh, this is, I get distracted by the plainness of things. So um, it just helps me kind of stay focused. And then this last section is where I'm, I just have some extra blank paper in here right now, but this is where I'll put some, any book notes from any book study that I do um, or any notes from our small group studies that we do because we, my husband and I participate in a small group um, every week. So I can put any of that in here. Then I just have another top loading envelope with some pictures. And then I have just this little, this is actually a personal size um, pad, but I just slid it back here into this thing. And if I have anything longer that won't fit on a sticky note, I can just jot it down and not have it there. And that is that. Um, I always have my Bible with me. I, I usually use my Bible app, um, but this is, Kind of the first Bible I ever bought myself. It's I have it tagged. It's highlighted. It's this this thing goes with me everywhere. It goes on every trip with me. Um, it goes with me everywhere. So that is that. That is my war binder, my prayer binder, whatever you want to call it. I will try to add links to everything that I can think of down below. But if anybody has any questions, please just feel free to let me know, and I will try to answer them. I'm you know not a prayer expert. I'm not a religion or faith expert. I just try to do my best and, you know, do what I can do. But if there's anything you think I can help you with, please let me know and I will be more than willing to try. Thank you so much. Everybody have a great day.